Executive Magazine, Independent Thinking for the Discerning Mind. In 2009-2010, we kept price stability despite the fact that the liquidity was very high, the demand in Lebanon was increasing, and interest rates were decreasing, and yet we kept prices under check. For the second year in a row, the level of credit to the private sector is higher than the credit given to the public sector by banks. Uh, that change was uh, mainly uh, instigated by all the incentives that we have created. Uh, the central bank has an objective, and uh, that is to keep inflation at around 4%. Presently, we're running uh, above this level. We're around 6%. And this is due to the higher prices of oil and of food worldwide. The central bank is buying a regular dollar, and uh, auctions in Lebanese treasury bills are uh, uh, back to life. Uh, banks are subscribing. And the latest Eurobond offering uh, was executed at uh, uh, levels that were uh, a record low in terms of interest. We're borrowing today uh, at the same level as Italy, for instance, uh, much below Greece or Portugal or uh, uh, Ireland. And uh, that means that confidence is coming back, which should support the economy. Being able to borrow today in Lebanon at the same level as Italy is a, a proof of confidence and that the policies are right. On the banking level, we have run a stress test and it shows that the banks operating in Syria as well as in Egypt are still making money and that their capital is enough to face the worst case scenarios, and therefore they will not resort to using capital from the main office of their bank, I mean from Lebanon. There is of course a psychological effect uh, that can uh, play, especially for non-Arabs or, or Arabs who want to travel within the Arab world, and uh, that has also some consequence. But overall, I think the Lebanese economy has seen much worse situations and showed resilience. And therefore, uh, if we can continue now in the build-up of confidence, uh, the, the situation is going to be better. Lebanon cannot afford a crisis. Uh, you have seen what happened to Greece. Greece being a European uh, country, uh, having a currency strong one, the euro, not having political problems or security problems, saw interest rates at 40% and were uh, on the bridge of defaulting, uh, despite all the backing they had from very strong countries and the IMF. Lebanon uh, don't have these advantages. So we have to uh, work on building up a real economy and uh, we have to keep our tradition of commercial banking. We want to have investment bankers, capital market, but let it be outside the uh, commercial banking sector. Uh, the, the risks in Lebanon are as usual, political. Today, uh, you have uh, many issues uh, ahead. Uh, if uh, the government can contain these political issues, I think that uh, we will end up the year with a much better level of growth. We hope there will be no crisis, but we are always, uh, as a central bank, prepared to the worst case scenarios. Executive Magazine, independent thinking for the discerning mind.